Welcome to my studio. So today I'm going to be working in a handmade journal I did that I created. And first I'm starting off with my focal point because uh, I knew it was going to need some drying time. So I did start there. So I'm just using my tiny attacher to attach this. I don't know. It's not really yarn. It's, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's uh, really coarse. And I'm just wrapping that around this manila, piece of manila envelope. And I should have chosen something a little bit sturdier, but I am using some Liquitex matte medium gel um, to hold, help hold that down. So getting that good and wrapped around. All right, so this is a page that I created in this um, handmade journal that is a plat. So it's kind of thin um, paper and it is really old. And I'm just laying down some gesso. This is a Studio 71 white gesso that I have in a squirt bottle and just using my brayer to move that around, getting it to hit randomly and let some of that lovely uh, blue plat text kind of peer through. And get that dried off. All right, so now I am going to come in with some gelatos once I get these under papers settled. And I'm going to be using spearmint and metallic mint. The metallic mint I'm putting down first, and as it sounds, it is a metallic. And then the spearmint, which is a nice contrasting to it. And then using my um, Wow Water Mister, I'm gonna come in and lay down some water, get some flowing going there, move it around a bit with my finger. But I really like what that water has done with it. I'm gonna pretty much leave it, get it good and dry. And now this is a, pa a sample piece off of a, te uh, a technique that I teach over in, uh, that I taught over in uh, Patreon. And so I'm just taking that and tearing it up and I'm gonna use that in my background.
and I'm going to use some of the Liquitex Matte Medium Gel to adhere these down onto the page. And those gelatos are water soluble, so if I get them wet, they will move again on me. So I'm working hard here not to really brush at it very much. And I did find some of these um, scrap pieces of mulberry paper and I did decide to put those down as well. The matte medium gel is kind of overkill for these. They're really lightweight. I could have used some fluid medium, matte medium on them. And I'm going to fudge with those a bit and get this good and dry. So now I'm going to get out the uh, my uh, Ranger archival ink in black and this really old date stamper and I'm just going to lay down some numbers and letters.
now I'm going to lay down some paint. So I am going to be using the Plaid Folk Art Color Shift acrylic paint in Aqua Flash. So this paint is kind of cool. It shifts so the color changes. It's like a metallic, but it's really, you get different colors off of it. It's kind of fun to work with. I wasn't anticipating it to be kind of translucent, uh, but it is. So I watered this down and I am first applying it to my focal point. And this is when I discovered it was kind of uh, translucent. So in a second here, you'll see how I'm going to go in straight with the paint without watering it down. So I can get more of a color concentration. And then, per my usual style, I'm going to go in with my finger and do some finger painting. And I really liked how um, the paint caught these little pieces of mulberry paper. So I end up concentrating a lot of that color in those areas where I put those down. And you'll be able to see that detail with the still photos in the end. And now I have this little sample of Liquitix Basics acrylic paint, and this is Prism Violet, which is very similar to the Studio 71 Deep Violet uh, that I carry. Give it a good spritz, because I'm going to do some, my plan was to do some drippage, so I wanted to get it thinned out. And I put that up there and trying to get some dripping. It just wouldn't go, so I just gave it a good spritz with my mister. So I got some flow going. And then I'm going to take my fan brush and get some nice platters. And now I am going to get some of that prism violet onto my focal point. Really liked how it played off of that aqua flash color shift. Give it a good spray. 
spray, let it seep in. It almost has a tie-dye effect, which you'll be able to see better in the still shots in the end. Slop up some of that paint on some under paper. and then get that good and dry. Now first I was going to go in with this Jelly Roll um, black pen, but then I decided not to, and uh, you, you'll see me disappear here for a few minutes, and I'm actually running in to the other part of my studio to find my Marabou black spray, which apparently wasn't on my desk. Marabou art sprays are wonderful for flat. Um, color. Um, they're my favorite for flat color sprays. And I'm just going to lay some of that down. Just using the stem from the nozzle. And these circular pieces I have, as you can tell, I've used them before. I've got a bunch of them in all different sizes lay down some circles And now I'm going to pull out my large print book and try and find a sentiment. If you're enjoying my process videos, please, if you would, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to see more from me, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, it's the red one. And if you want to get notifications when I upload new videos, click on the bell and you will get a notification. So now I'm going to apply this with some, um, it's not diamond glaze, but it's an off brand, but it's like diamond glaze. I have a lot of this stuff and I just don't really use it anymore. So I'm just trying to use it up. I felt like the, with all that texture, it needed something more than um, fluid medium, which is what I usually put my sediments down with. And I don't know why I didn't go to my gel medium, but I didn't.
And I always go bottom right. So I thought, okay, Nina, go someplace else. And we kind of migrated. It's not totally down in the bottom right, but it's, it's still in the bottom right. So I'm pulling out the big guns to get this applied. I think I could probably overkill. But this is Finabear Heavy Body Gel. It is the bomb. Um, it's very thick but it'll hold just about anything. It does take a little bit to dry, um, but it's so thick, it holds it until it, it gets dry, so. It was probably overkill, but that is what I used. And get that down. The first person to comment below why I named this process video bunkhouse and who is subscribed to my channel will get this text pack free this is a text pack it's chock full it's a variety pack so there's 20 sheets of different types of text from all different types of places so comment below and you must be subscribed why i named this bunkhouse